Hi everybody, welcome to episode 3 of the Cozy Comic Chronicles. Uh, it's me Chris and I just want to start off by wishing you all a very happy new year. Yeah, happy new years. I'm wishing you all the best that you achieve all your goals this year. You reach some milestones and just cheers to your continued growth. So I thought it would be fitting for episode 3 to share some of my goals these are all going to be goals pertaining to the channel the twitch channel and the youtube and just the chris indie comic brand so there won't be any of my personal goals here but there will be um goals just based off of the stream and, and all of that so yeah i have a few goals i guess i'll just start by sharing and maybe give a little insight as to why i chose that as my goal uh the first one i'm going to share is I would like to average 32 viewers by the end of the year. The way I got to that number is I thought that since I'm just starting out, whenever you're starting out with something, growth always happens fastest in the beginning because you're going from zero to something, you know, zero to 10 is always going to happen quicker than a hundred to 105. When you're starting out with absolutely nothing, growth always happens fastest in the beginning because you're growing from nothing. I currently average about four viewers per stream. So I thought it would be a good goal to try to triple that number. And so that's how I got to 32. And it's hard to average 32 viewers on Twitch, but I, I believe that I can get there with, with persistence and consistency and to continue to try to showcase games that people are interested in and continue to develop relationships with indie devs. I do believe that 32 viewers is, is a good number for us to try to get to. That's the first goal that I have on here. Another goal, which is very interesting, is to conduct a live interview on one of my Twitch streams. It is not easy to interview people. I may have done it once back when I had like a comic book podcast, but interviewing people is not easy. And I'm pretty sure doing a live interview might even be harder, but it's my goal to try to conduct a live interview on Twitch this year. When I started Indie Comet, it wasn't just about indie devs per se, like that's the main goal, but people who work with indie games, whether it's marketers or people who help with Kickstarter campaigns, whether it's voice actors, writers, musicians, anybody who comes together and helps with indie games and stuff like that, I wanted to put a spotlight on and create a space for. I'm going to be looking for people who work along the entire landscape of indie gaming, maybe even other streamers or YouTubers I would or content creators, I would not mind at all. But I do want to do live and to conduct a live interview on Twitch. And hopefully that becomes a thing. I want to turn that into a thing. Another goal I have is to turn the Chris's Indie Comet into an LLC. Ever since I started this, yes, it is a hobby. Yes, it's something I don't get paid for. But I always saw it as something that could be a business. So turning it into an LLC is one of my top goals because it just gives it that other layer of being a business and allows me to tackle things as a business, not just as a personal hobby. In the state of New York, there are certain steps that you have to take in order to gain an LLC. But I had done a ton of research and I'm saving up money, putting money to the side in order to make that happen. My next goal is to gain 500 subscribers here on YouTube. I have about nine right now. So getting to 500, I have a long way to go. In order to do that, I'm going to have to really sit down and write some good strategies for YouTube and do some research. Because as it stands right now, I mostly just use YouTube to put clips from my stream as well as upload my VODs from Twitch. And then I also put this podcast on there. So I'm wondering if finding unique things that might help me gain following on YouTube would help. But I'm definitely going to put more time into my editing skills and my strategy in order to start to build up the YouTube channel and hopefully use it as a way for discovery for my Twitch and just for the Chris Indie Comet brand. It's always good to try to build on different platforms and I haven't really put too much focus on YouTube. The next one that I have is to get a thousand followers on Twitter. As it stands right now, I think I have around, I'm hovering a little bit above 200, which I think is okay considering I just started my Twitter account two months ago. 
I really want to turn my I have a lot of fun on Twitter. I love the things that I see on Twitter and all of the games that I've played on my stream. I've discovered through Twitter. I really want to turn my account into one where, oh, let me check Chris in the comment to see some cool indie game. Let's see what he's what he's posting about. Maybe I'll add it to my wish list. Maybe I'll add it to whatever. Download the demo. I really want to turn my Twitter page into something valuable um, that people can come and check out and learn more about indie games. And those are my five like big goals for the year as far as Chris's indie comic goes. I think those are definitely doable things and things that are really in my control and i'm going to push forward and try to get these things done and try to grow this channel i don't i don't think that i'm putting anything on there that is like crazy to do but let's see let's see how this goes and build some some good strategy and try to make these things happen once again happy new year's to you all if you haven't already follow me on Twitch at Chris Indy comment. I'll add my link in the in the bio. Also follow me on Twitter as well. And definitely come and check out the stream if you haven't. You know, if you're just listening to this and haven't really watched uh, some of my other stuff, check out my VODs on YouTube and give me a follow. Much appreciated. Happy New Year's, everybody. Bye.